What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get instant pressure if your opponent is using a delayed fade to pick up your pressure out of the nickel 335 wide in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we share every single day right here on YouTube. Now guys, I just released my 46 defensive playbook guide. It's the best defense in the game. It was the best defense in the game last year. It's gonna be the best defense in the game this year, especially with the latest patch that just came out, kind of changed defense a little bit and made nickel 335 wide and 335 normal even more effective. And on top of that, they actually put a major buff, in my opinion, to the dollar 326. So I went ahead and finished my 46 defensive guide. If you wanna get my full 4-6 defensive guy that goes over 335, 335 wide, nickel normal, big nickel, and dollar 326 just to start, as well as some updates that are going to be coming out along the way. And any patch that comes out, we update the guide completely for free for you. You can get that full defensive guide at the link in the description. That guide's on sale for just 15 bucks. And like I said, it is an absolute insane defensive guide for what we're going to be able to do from a pressure perspective and from a coverage perspective because not only are you going to be able to have the best players on the field in terms of safeties at linebacker and all that but we actually teach you how you can use cross manning different coverages match coverages zone drop coverages and what i really love about this guide that we did for you is we actually broke down specific defenses for four specific formations we showed you specific defenses for trips tight end u trips gun bunch bunch tight end two by two spread two by two compression sets um, as well as phenomenal run defense. So if you wanna get access to all of that content and you wanna start getting consistent stops on the defensive side of the ball, I'm gonna put a link to that 46 defensive guide in the description of this video. And again, you can get that full defensive ebook for just $15. All right guys, so I wanted to share with you kind of a dilemma that a lot of people that run this Mike Blitz 3 are facing and how you can actually combat it. So uh, what here's what the most common setup for Mike Blitz 3 is. Let me just show it, share it with you right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna user this linebacker right in this little position. We're gonna crash our defensive line out, we're gonna pinch our linebackers, and we're gonna QB contain. Now this is a very good pressure setup, especially if your opponent is simply blocking the running back. But if any of you watch the um, ultimate kickoff, some of the pros and what they were doing defensively, this was their number one blitz. This was the number one play probably called in the entire uh, Madden tournament. And the main reason why is because if the running back blocked, you can see here that we get this little looping contain, which is very effective. Now, the advanced bunch players, here's how they pick that up. All they're gonna do is they're just gonna put their tight end on a delay fade. And what you're gonna see is if I run that same exact pressure, I'm not gonna get any pressure. Um, now you got plenty of time to make reads. We know how easy it is to do that in this game. And so I wanted to approach this through the lens of the question, how can I guarantee pressure if my opponent blocks a tight end? And so I came up with this defense and I think you're gonna have a ton of success with this. So uh, here's what you're gonna do. All you're gonna do is you're gonna globally blitz your linebackers. You're gonna press coverage until the linebacker, the middle linebacker goes into the A gap. Ideally, he goes into the A gap on the right side of the screen. That's where we want him to go. Okay, so much so that I would even recommend sometimes crashing your, or crashing your line to the left before you do that because it kind of naturally will put him in that A-gap. Anyway, that being said, the next adjustment is to grab this safety, and we're gonna bring this safety right over the center, just a little bit to the left, just like this. Now from here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna QB contain, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that tight end on a delay fade, and what you're gonna see is we're gonna get absolute screaming pressure right off that left edge every single time. So again, let me show you that setup really quickly. All we're gonna do is we're gonna globally blitz our linebackers. We're gonna or we're gonna press coverage until that linebacker goes down into the A-gap. Now, if you see him do this, let me just show you what's gonna happen. We're still gonna crash our defensive line uh, to the outside and QB contain, and we're still gonna come down here just like this, but we're gonna stand just a little bit more to the right side of the screen. 
And this is not as consistent if the linebacker goes on the side, but I will show you the blitz. And at the snap of the ball, what you'll see here is we're gonna scream off the right edge, okay? Just like that, we're screaming right off the right edge. Now, a way that you can kind of uh, combat this, in my opinion, is another little trick that you can do from this is you can actually go ahead and take that linebacker on the right side of the screen and you can put him into coverage. Let me show you what that looks like. And again, we are trying to scream off this left side edge and the snap of the ball you're going to see here. We're going to get super close, but then we get that A-gap pressure from the middle linebacker. Now, one little trick that you can also do with this is you can take this middle linebacker who's now in the gap and you can go ahead and put that linebacker on the right side of the screen. Just put him on a bluff blitz, okay? Just put him on a little bluff blitz. He's going to play underneath over there for like a quick running back route or something. And what you'll find from this is, let's say, for example, um, let's say, for example, they block the tight end. We're just going to pass commit. Here's your setup. And again, I'm just going to take that linebacker on the right side and put him in that bluff blitz. And what you'll see here is we got a really good shot at coming free. Didn't come free right there, but that's just the five man version. So it's not necessarily supposed to, but the better version of this pressure is indeed this version right here. And the reason why is because not only does this come in um, consistently against a block tight end, it also comes in consistently against a blocked running back so if they block their running back on this play you'll see you're going to get a gap pressure that's going to absolutely instantly shed or instantly fight through the middle of the field and again that's if the linebacker is on the left side okay now if the linebacker is on the right side like you see here we're going to get very consistent edge pressure so again i'm going to max protect now and what you'll see is we're going to get super good pressure uh, right through that middle of the defensive line and I've got another video that shows a little bit more about that max protect type of deal We do have setups in the guide that will help you get uh, pressure against max protect But let me just show you again tight end blocking on a delay fade You're gonna absolutely scream as you see right there. It's super consistent another little pro tip that I like to suggest to people um, and again, it's just a simple line stunt but what you can do is just crash your line to the side uh, of the running back. And I find that that crash uh, makes this just a little bit more consistent and helps again with some potential A-gap sheds or whatever. But as you see, when I mean, we're screaming, screaming, screaming pressure uh, at the quarterback, as you can see right there. Now, I want to show one little thing here. So let's say, for example, this guy uh, is over here, okay? What we can do is we can actually manually move him, just move him to that left, that right side, just like this right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come down in here with your user. The same thing is, everything is the same. And what you'll see is you're still gonna scream. So I personally think that the blitz works best when the linebacker is on the right side of the field. So that's just my opinion. So if you see this right here, just click onto him, move him over. You'll see he'll take him back there just like this which is completely fine as long as you just get your user right down in this A-gap, just like so. And if they delay fade, you're still going to absolutely scream off the edge. I wanna thank you for watching this video all the way through. And if you wanna get my full 4-6 defensive guide, there is a link in the description. All you gotta do is head down to the description, click the link, go to the website, and you can get the defensive guide for just 15 bucks. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I would really appreciate it if you got the guide. Let me know what you think about it so far. I think this is probably my best work on the defensive side of the ball in terms of the combination of pressure and coverage that we're going to be able to provide for you in this defensive guide.